Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna find the centroid of the composite body shown. So my first task is to divide this body into simpler geometries. So there are multiple ways to do it. I'm gonna have, call this one section one, this section two, this rectangle, and then the last one, this triangle, would be section three. And I'm gonna find x bar and y bar. So I know x bar is summation of x bar i times a i over a i. Here I have three geometries, so it's changing, i is changing from one to three. So if I expand this, I will have x bar one a one plus x bar two a two plus x bar three a three. And for the area is the addition of all the area. I can write the same thing for y bar and then I will have y bar 1 a1 plus y bar 2 a2 plus y bar 3 a3 and denominator a1 a2 a3. So my job is to find these values of x bar 1 2 3 same thing for y bar. So if this is our coordinate x and y for our first body x bar 1 would be negative 2.5 feet for the second body would be x bar 2 would be negative 1 foot for our third is one third from each side so x bar three would be one foot. I can do the same thing for y bar. So for the first body, if I use another color, y bar one would be one foot. Here it's not gonna be negative because it's towards positive y. Y bar two, if you look at the dimension, is two plus one, three, half of that would be 1.5 and then for geometry 3 y bar 3 is one third of 3 so that would be one foot and I can find the area for for each case and then plug it into equation or I could write it in a tabular form for each section I will find the x bar so for section 1 we know a X bar 1 would be negative 2.5 for section 2 would be negative 1 and then positive 1 similar to y bar 0.5 1.5 and 1 the area 1 6 4.5 if I multiply x bar this column with a column I get x bar a so i have negative 2.5 here negative 6 and 4.5 if i multiply y bar column with a bar a i would get y bar a so 0 0.5 9 4.5 and then the last row is just summation of all the values here 11.5 here i'll get negative 4 and that would be 14. So if I want to find x bar, it would be negative x bar i a i over a i. So that would be negative 4 divided by 11.5, which gives me negative 0.35 fit. And for the y bar, I have 14 divided by, again, 11. 1.21 feet so I found x bar and y bar here I use the tabular form but the approach is the same I could just plug in the value here into my equation now that I have found x bar 1 x bar 2 x bar 3 and then y bars I could plug in the values and find x bar and y bar 
usually when you have three or more geometries, the tabular form is, is faster and you're less likely to make mistakes. But for two geometries, then probably just writing it directly would be a better approach.